Hello to chapter 40 of Moby Dick by Herman Melville. And this chapter is titled Midnight for Castle. Harponeers and Sailors. Foresail rises and discovers the watch, standing, lounging, leaning and lying in various attitudes, all singing in chorus. Farewell and adieu to you, Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu to you, ladies of Spain. Our captains commanded. First Nantucket sailor. Oh, boys, don't be sentimental. It's bad for the digestion. Take a tonic. Follow me. Sings and all follow. Our captain stood upon the deck, a spyglass in his hand a viewing of those gallant whales that blew at every strand. Oh, your tubs in your boats, my boys, and by your braces stand, and we'll have one of those fine whales, hand boys over hand. So be cheery, my lads, may your hearts never fail, while the bold harponeer is striking the whale. Mate's voice from the quarter deck. Eight bells there, forward! Second Nantucket sailor. Avast the chorus, eight bells there. Do you hear, bell boy? Strike the bell eight, thou pip, thou blackling, and let me call the watch. I've the sort of mouth for that, the hawk's head mouth, so so, thrusts his head down the scuttle. Starboleens, ahoy, eight bells there below. Tumble up. Dutch sailor. Ground snoozing tonight. Matey, fat night for that. I mark this is our old mogul's wine. It's quite a dead and as deadening to some as filliping to others. We sing, they sleep, I lie down there like ground tears butts. At em again. There take this copper pump and hail em through it. Tell em to a vast dreaming of their lassies. Tell em it's the resurrection. They must kiss their last and come to judgment. That's the way, that's it. Thy throat ain't spoiled with eating Amsterdam butter. French sailor. Hist, boys, let's have a jig or two before we ride to anchor in Blanket Bay. What say ye? There comes the other watch. Stay by all legs. Pip, little Pip, hurrah with your tambourine. Pip, sulky and sleepy. Don't know where it is, French sailor. Beat thy belly, then, and wag thy ears. Jig it, man, I say. Mary's the word. Hurrah! Damn me. Won't you dance? From now, Indian file and gallop into the double shuffle. Throw yourselves. Legs. Legs. Iceland sailor. I don't like your floor, Matty. It's too springy to my taste. I'm used to ice floors. I'm sorry to throw cold water on the subject, but excuse me. Maltese sailor. Me too. Where's your girls? Who but a fool would take his left hand by his right and say to himself, How do you do? Partners. I must have partners. Sicilian sailor. Ay, a girl's in a green, then I'll hop with ye, ye turn, grasshopper. Long Island sailor. Well, well, ye sulkies, there's plenty more of us. Whole corn when you may say I. When you may say I. All legs go to harvest soon. Ah, here comes the music, now for it. Azor sailor ascending and pitching the tambourine up the scuttle. Here you are, Pip, and there's the windlass bits up you mount. Now, boys! The half of them dance to the tambourine, some go below, some sleep or lie among the coils of rigging, oaths aplenty. A sore sailor dancing. Go it, Pip! Bang it, bellboy! Rig it, dig it, stig it, quig it! Bellboy, make fireflies, break the jinglers! Pip! Jinglers, you say? There goes another, dropped off. I pound it so. China, sailor. Rattle thy, thy teeth, then, and pound away. Make a pagoda of thyself. French, sailor. Merry mad, hold up thy hoop, Pip, till I jump through it. Split jibs, tear yourselves, tush, tush, go. No, sorry, this is really weirdly. 
weirdly formatted. Split jib, steer yourselves. Tishtigo quietly smoking. That's a white man. He calls that fun. Ah, I save my sweat. Old Manx sailor. I wonder whether those jolly lads bethink them of what they are dancing over. I'll dance over your grave. I will. That's the bitterest threat of your night woman. That beat had wines round corners. Oh, Christ, to think of the green navies and the green skulled crews. Well, well. Be like the whole world's a ball, as you scholars have it, and so tis right to make one ballroom of it. Dance on, lads. You're young. I was once. Third Nantucket sailor. Spell, oh, phew. This is worse than pulling after whales in a calm. Give us a whiff, Tash. They cease dancing and gather in clusters. Meantime, the sky darkens. The wind rises. Lascar, sailor. By Brahma, boys, it'll be thou sail soon. The sky born, high tide Ganges turn to wind. Thou showest thy black brow, Siva. Maltese, sailor, reclining and shaking his cap. It's the waves, the snow caps turn to jig it now, they'll shake their tassels soon. Now but all the waves were women, then I'd go down and chassis with them evermore. There's naught so sweet on earth, heaven may not match it, as those swift glances of warm, wild bosom in the dance, when the over arboring arms hide such ripe bursting grapes. Sicilian sailor reclining. Tell me not of it. Hark ye, lad, fleet interlacing of the limbs, lithy swings, coings, flutterings, lip, heart, hip, all grace. Unceasing touch and go, not taste, observe ye else, come satiety, eh, pagan? Nudging. Tahitian sailor, reclining on a mat. Hail, holy nakedness of your, of our dancing girls. The heva, heva, ah, low veiled, high palm, Tahiti. I still rest me on thy mat, but the soft soil has slit. I saw thee woven in the wood, my mat, green, the first boy I brought ye thence, now worn and wilted white. Ah, me, not thou, nor I can bear the change. How then, if so be transplanted to yon sky? Here I the roaring streams from Pirotee's peak of spears, when they leap down the crabs and drown the villages. The blast, the blast, up spine, and meet it, leaps to his feet. Portuguese sailor. How the sea rolls, swashing against the side. Stand by for reefing hearties. The winds are just crossing swords. Pell-mell they go lunging presently. Danish sailor. Crack, crack, old ship, so long as thou crackest, thou holdest. Well done. The mace there holds ye to it stiffly. He's no more afraid than the isle fought at Cattegat, put there to fight the Baltic with storm-lashed guns on which the sea salt cakes. Fourth Nantucket sailor. He has his orders, mind ye that. I heard old Ahab tell him he must always kill a squall, something as they burst the water spout with a pistol. Fire your ship right into it. English sailor. Blood! But that old man's a grand old cove. We are the lads to hunt him up his whale. All! Aye, aye! Old Manx sailor. How the three pines shake. Pines are the hardest sort of trees to live when shifted to any other soil, and there, here there's none but the crew's cursed clay. Steady, helmsman, steady. This is the sort of weather when brave hearts snap ashore and keeled hull splits at sea. Our captain has his birthmark. Look yonder, boys, there's another in the sky, lure it. Like, ye see, all else pitch black. Degu, what of that? Who's afraid of blacks, afraid of me? I'm quarried out of it. Spanish sailor, aside. He wants to bully, ah, 
The old grudge makes me touchy, advancing. Ay, Harponeer, thy race is the undeniable dark side of mankind. Devilish stock at that. No offence. The goo grimly, none. Send Chago's sailor. That Spaniard's mad or drunk, but that can't be, or else in his case, in his one case, our old moguls, fine firewaters are somewhat long in working. Fifth Nantucket sailor. What's that I saw? Lightning? Yes, Spanish sailor. No. The goo showing his teeth. The goo springing. Swallow thine, mannequin, white skin, white liver. Spanish sailor meeting him. Knife thee heartily, big frame, small spirit. All a row, a row, a row. Testigo with a whiff. A row a low and a rough, a row aloft. Gods and man, both brawlers. Ha! <laughs> Belfast sailor. A row, a ra, a row. The virgin be blessed. A row, plunge in with ye. English sailor. Fair play, snatch the Spaniard's knife. A ring, a ring. Old Manx sailor. Ready, f ready form. There the ring to rise in, in that ring. Cain struck Abel. Sweet work, right work. No. Why then, God, madst thou the ring? Mate's voice from the quarter deck. Hence by the hell yards and top gallant sails. Stand by to reef top sails. All. The squall, the squall. Jump, my jollies. They scatter. Pip shrinking under the windlass. Jollies? Lord help such jollies. Crish crash. There goes the jib stay. Blang wang. God. Duck lower. Pip. Here comes the royal yard. It's worse than being in the world. What's the last day of the year? Who'd go climbing after chestnuts now? But there they go, all cursing, and here I don't. Fine prospect to em. They're on the road to heaven. Hold on hard. Jiminy, what a squall. But those chaps, they're all worse yet. They're all your white squalls, they. White squalls? White whales? Sure, sure. Here have I heard all the, their chat just now, and the white whale, sure. Sure, but spoken of once, and only this evening, it makes me jingle all over like my tambourine that anaconda of an old man swore him up in to hunt him. Oh, thou big white god aloft there somewhere in yon darkness, have mercy on this small black boy down here, preserve him from all men that have no bowels to feel fear. So, yeah, that was chapter... <laughs> 40. I don't know what that was. Sort of a a play rather than a chapter and a novel. Right? All right. Bye-bye. Uh, you still see me confused. Bye-bye till next time with chapter 41, which it seems is a normal chapter again, and it's titled Moby Dick.